Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to have a little um, malware removal lesson here. Um, one of the biggest problems with malware is that pretty much every type of malware, for example, uh, search conduit, um, is it uh, what, um, you know, my PC backup, Optimizer Pro and all these crapware and there's a lot more than that usually creep up um, in your computer and um, Usually after downloading the wrong thing, you know one of the first things that happens usually and I've seen that on pretty much every clients uh, Computer is they try to find a software like for example, they'll type iTunes and instead of downloading it from the Apple website They'll download it from some crapware site that wants you to download it, and uh, that is always bad. Now here I don't have the same results that maybe you have because I'm logged into my um, Gmail account and it does search, change the search properties, but you might see that it's downloadable from some other site, and uh, I'd say that 80% of people that I've seen with uh, malware try to download something else and got a lot of really bad stuff with it. So how to deal with malware and try to remove it by yourself. Uh, it's interesting to have some of the basics of malware. First of all, the first thing you need to do is go into your uh, programs and features in Windows 8. And by the way, if you came across this video and you're on Windows 7, all you have to do is go to the control panel um, and actually I can show you because it's the same on Windows 8. You, you just go into your control panel and uh, go into the programs and features or if you're in the uh, category view, you have uninstall the program, you click there. Now the first thing, every malware that you can identify, look for them in the list of your programs that's the first step and remove everything everything that is malware that you know of be careful don't remove something you don't know what it is a lot of the stuff here uh, are for uh, drivers in your system and some of the uh, basic you know the programs that come with your computer uh, if you uninstall stuff that you don't know what they are you might actually have a problem after you restart. So identify the ad, the malware that you have. If you're not really sure what a program is, you can go on Google and why not Google the name of the software and learn what it is. It's going to give you an idea if it's worth it, if you need to keep it or not. But remove everything from there. Now, when you do that, there are some malware that are programmed that they don't want to uninstall or they're going to just stay there even though they seem to uninstall they just don't uninstall and we'll de deal with those a, a little later here so everything that you can remove that's a malware that you can identify do it that's the first step second step after you've done that and you've removed pretty much everything that you found there are ones that you can't remove or that always come back and there's a reason why they always come back they have often hidden files somewhere that are starting up with the computer and actually want to re reinstall the piece of software the crapware that you have the first place to go and check for is go into your file explorer so you go either here or if you can't find it you can search for it in Windows 8 but go to the file explorer window and what you want to do is go to this PC, which is called computer in Windows 7 for those that are using Windows 7. There you will go to your C drive and you will click users and you will click your uh, name or your account, which is this one. Now, one thing here is that you need to have something enabled and it's the fact that you want to see hidden files and folders so that if you don't activate it you won't see the correct spots one place you want to go so what you'll do is you go in the control panel 
and you'll go into uh, appearance and personalization or if you are in icon view all you need to do is go into folder options here what you need to do is in the view you have to put show hidden files folders and drives and apply this setting and you'll see that in the file explorer you have more folders that are kind of a little um, pale in compared to the other ones you see that they're a little lighter in color what you want to do is go into app data and then into local and here you'll have a folder called temp what you want to do is remove everything from here just choose everything that's in here right click and delete everything now there are some stuff that are going to say I can't just click skip for the ones that it can't remove don't worry about it but remove everything that you are able to remove when you are here that's the first thing that you'll need to do another thing that you'll need to check for is by going into again the file explorer going into your C drive go into program files x86 and check for folders for the malware for example if you have one called um, I don't know uh, optimizer pro if you see a folder called optimizer pro what you'll need to do is right click on it for example here I have something about Norton that I don't have anymore you right click on it but you cannot delete it because it, since it's working it won't let you delete the uh, folder but it will let you rename the folder just you know give it a name like ABC press enter what's that gonna do is that it's gonna change the, the folder name so when you restart it it's not gonna be able to start the malware because the folder is gone it just can't find it so rename the folders of the different crapware that you see if it's um, you know PC my PC backup stuff like that just rename those to a different name make the same changes to program files because there are two program files in the computer there's the x86 which are 32-bit programs and there's the uh, program files that is 64-bit so make sure you delete everything or rename everything sorry because you cannot delete it as like uh, I said earlier so delete just rename everything that you see that is uh, malware now you did that you removed the temp files and the um, user account with uh, app data now we will go and get the big guns what you want to do is scan your computer with malware bytes go and download malwarebytes.org be careful if you are infected via virus this web page can be spoofed so when you click download free download version what you get is something like this malware bytes can be spoofed so you make sure that um, you go to the right spot it's very important because malware bytes is a piece of software that can actually be um, bad let's try it on my other browser now malware bytes is one of the good malware programs to download so once you want to get so you'll get this page here which is safe and you can click the download button where it's going to download a file and make sure that you have the same name mbam setup and you'll have a version number if you have mbam setup it means you have the right thing and you'll want to use this and scan your computer you'll delete or quarantine everything that it finds everything without exception so 
So make sure that you scan. Another piece of software that is very useful in the removal of viruses and malware on your computer is the um, Rogue Killer by Atlas Software. And I'm going to show you where to get that. By the way, when you install the malware bytes, remove the first enable free trial of malware bytes and just put uh, keep the launch malware bytes anti malware so that it launches because they have a uh, paid antivirus or malware removal and uh, that will of course be something that you uh, might might want if you know why if you want to pay for it why not it's a good piece of software but if you don't want to pay for it the free version you just remove the first check mark and you'll scan now and remove everything that it finds you can also go to Atlas Software. Atlas.com is the rogue killer spot. What you'll want to do is click the rogue killer download. So um, you'll have just to click on the right here. You see rogue killer download. You'll click that and you'll go down below the PayPal buttons go until you see here download Rogue Killer and choose the correct version I have a Windows uh, 64 bits so I will want to have the 64 bit version uh, Rogue Killer 32 bits don't click anywhere else in this page and one very very important thing this page can be easily spoofed uh, on clients that had a lot of viruses and malware this page was totally off and it had full of ads and it had full of malware pop-ups and it doesn't come from the website it really comes from the fact that you are infected so be very careful and just go down and click only these links that you see here so I'll download Rogue Killer 64 bits and there I'll download the installer for the 64 bits you should see Rogue Killer x64 or 32 depending on the version click it only and only if it, its name is rogue killer x64 x32 never install anything that's not with that name because when you are on malware a malware infected computer all of these things can be different so be careful and this one is another very good piece of software to actually make your computer uh, better. Rogue Killer is very powerful and will actually even see some infection, background type infections that you might have. So scan it with this and remove everything that it finds uh, once you've scanned your computer for malware. So these are, you know, the basic steps of removal of malware. Go through your computer, try to find the folders uh, that you have that might actually uh, have the same name as the malware you're using. Rename them. After you've restarted completely the computer, uh, then you might be able to delete them. And last but not least, in your browsers, go and make sure that you manage add-ons. Uh, in Internet Explorer, you go into the settings and you go into manage add-ons. You make sure that you disable anything that looks like malware by clicking the disable button. Um, another thing that you'll want to do is change in Internet Options the page. Most malware will change your start page. Make sure you have your own start page. Google.com or so on. Uh, one last thing that I need to mention here is that a lot of the malware today seem to spoof your um, shortcuts on the desktop and on the taskbar. So if you change your home page and it still gives you something else, then go in the programs folder with your file explorer and do a brand new so you just go here, for example, x86, uh, you'll go into um, Internet Explorer, you'll find the iExplorer, 
you'll just right click and send to send to the uh, desktop and create a new shortcut because a lot of the malware that I've seen today actually have uh, shortcut spoofs so when you click on the shortcut the shortcut itself sends you to another page so by removing the shortcut and creating new shortcuts um, that fixes the um, the spoof page the start page that's not the one you want so these are all basic uh, things that you need to do to try to get con the control back of your computer and um, if you know you go through all of this and nothing still works there's still too many problems um, you might either need a real computer guy or um, you know reformat your computer might also fix it so um, hope these tips help make sure that you uh, do them in the order that I've shown you and be very uh, you know meticulous go slowly and try to find all those little folders and stuff uh, you know this is basic and there are other things and other types of malware that really do a lot of things that can um, you know be removed by other means but if you follow these instructions um, you'll get rid of uh, the majority of the malwares that uh, infect computers today. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions, let us know. And hopefully, you'll remove malwares by following um, you know, the tips and tricks that I show you here. I uh, wish you good luck. And uh, hope to see you again on the channel. Bye-bye.